Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we are in Fusion 360. We are working with mesh files actually, and we're gonna be looking at how to actually split them with the plain cut feature. So I have this sphere that I created and I convert it into a mesh file. So for this purpose, it's gonna ask us to select a mesh body. And then it's gonna ask us to select a plane. I'm just gonna select this guy yeah, right there. Now we can flip with this trim type. We can flip it right or left or up or down depending on whatever orientation you've chosen your plane. Um, and as you can see, it's currently capping it. That is because right here for our fill type, we have minimal, which is the fewest number of faces or triangles to fill in that space. But we can also do a uniform, which is just gonna make it as close to the same size faces as possible. And then last is no fill at all, which is also pretty cool to be completely honest, kind of kind of trippy to look into. Um, but there are also two different types, uh, two more, additional types of cut types, we have a split body, which keeps is, keeps both sides of the plane, as well as split faces. Split faces is a bit different because instead of splitting it into two different mesh bodies, it's still keeping it as one mesh body, and it's actually just splitting the triangle faces. Um, and so if I click OK right here, you can see it's not actually splitting them into two bodies, it's just splitting the actual face. Kind of weird, frankly, not really sure why uh, anyone would use that feature this way. Uh, if you have a reason, I'd love to hear it down in the comments. But something we can also do is we can put in custom distances and angles for the plane, as well as typically with like your toggles and your grab arrows and everything like that. So all those different options are still available. But that's really it. Really, really useful. I'm actually really pleased that Fusion 360 has all of these mesh, mesh features. Um, something that I'm gonna continue doing is showing more of these features because they're really useful, especially if you're 3D printing. Um, and also if you wanna change the quality of a file that maybe you found online and you wanna adjust. Um, I'll show that in another video actually. And so yeah, if you have any questions, comments, I'd love to hear them down. Please, please type them down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.